everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly uh, reading. Reading for Gemini. How are you guys, Gemini? Hope you're all well. So two-part reading. First part, those of you who are already interested in someone and, you know, anything that you need to know that pops up. And the second part is for those of you who have no love pro prospects around you at this time, but you'd like to connect with someone. We'll see where that's going for you, if there's anything new. So those of you who are already interested in someone and you want to know what's happening, where this connection may lead. The person you're interested in, what it is that you need to know, Gemini, what do you need to know? temperance you need to it's energy of being patient tempering your passions and emotion emotions excuse me gemini yeah see it's an energy of just being patient i feel someone here is in a hurry see now some of you could feel something is off if you have a person coming in really fast and it could be a little overwhelming so i feel it's an energy of just tempering the passions emotions your thoughts just being kind of calm yeah, so some of you have been waiting for something here. You're waiting. See, while you're waiting. I got to tell you, you know, some of you, when you're, when you're dating someone, someone you really like, and you find yourself waiting, wasting time. See, been there, done that. Something may be starting to feel off for some of you. Something feeling a little off, you know. It's an energy of being cautious, being careful what you wish for, you see. Yeah, it's an energy of not getting something you want here. You're feeling like you might not get it because you're waiting. But it's about looking out there. See, been there, done that. Some of you may have another opportunity coming in. Okay, because I feel like you got a person who's keeping you waiting. Okay, uh, we see that energy all the time. Let's have a look at temperance. There we go. Yeah, a little sad energy. Yeah, tempering your passions, being patient, focusing on work. Beautiful. Inner work. Perfecting your craft and skills. Could be somebody that you work with, that you're interested in. This is definitely a temptation to reach out to talk. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, there you are, Gemini. Yeah, you're sitting here waiting. I'll tell you, too, if it is somebody where you've already connected with them, I'm not seeing it yet, but don't be afraid to teach someone how you want to be treated. Okay, and Sit around and wait for somebody while you're wasting your time, you see? Yeah, somebody, it has to do with someone putting in some kind of effort. I feel some of you feel something is a little bit off here. If you are actually seeing someone, but there's the truth. Seeing the truth? Yeah, see? This is the truth, something new. Everything's going to be exposed. I feel like you're going to make yourself very clear, but I do see you, I do see you, you know, watching your words here. I don't feel like you're being harsh or sharp or anything on anybody here. But it has to do with someone putting in the effort. See, something feels off. They're not putting in the effort. They're, you're waiting. Yeah. Tell me about the nine of emotion. Oop, that came out. There's that hanged man. That's, seems to be the card of the month here. Yeah, taking a little pause, looking at things from a different perspective. See, some of you may be, you know, kind of feeling something's off you may be kind of looking at this different maybe thinking it's time to you know look elsewhere start something new i feel like you're going to question this i do see a communication you're waiting for or you're waiting for one i feel like you you may actually communicate with this person because it's like you want to start something here yeah i don't know if you're already seeing this person or just someone around you but let's have a look at the queen of swords gemini Let's have a look at that energy. Yeah, see, this is someone very attractive, very passionate, beautiful energy. I see a little Leo energy here for some of you. Some Sag. Little earth energy. Some of you are just waiting for someone to get something going. <laughs> That's what I feel is happening because you're interested. I see it. Yeah. You see all the possibilities. See, you can see where this could go. <laughs> a little fantasizing but i gotta tell you some of you may seek out other options you may be just kind of keeping your options open or thinking that you should okay and it could be somebody giving you advice keep your options open <laughs> yeah sometimes it's just a person giving advice but i it's it's your energy i mean queen of swords been there done that see there's other opportunities coming in see while you're waiting for another person 
But I don't know if you're going to take them. We'll see. Yeah, it has to do with the place where you socialize, where you go, where people spend money. Okay, it could be a park, could be any place. While you're waiting. Yeah, you got a new crush coming in. Some of you are definitely longing for love. Yeah, definitely longing. It, it looks like a new crush coming in. <laughs> or it's yourself. This is your crush. Yeah, see, it's an energy of uh, justice. Somebody who comes in just right. See, a little Libra energy. That's why I feel like some of you, this could be a Libra giving you advice, a friend, okay? To keep your option open, explore other options while you're waiting. <laughs> yeah, see, there it is. See, some of you, like I say, thanks but no thanks. Some of you are getting a little bored here, like while you're waiting for this person to get things going. Like I say, you might just take a little chance here, attempt to this person and reach out to them and tempt them a little bit <laughs> to get this going. Yeah, look at the emotional fulfillment. Yeah, you got an emperor here. You, you've got, you have another opportunity coming in. I see actually multiple coming in. You have an emperor. This could be anyone. Who is this emperor energy? I do see an Aries. Taurus could be anyone though. Let's have a look at the emperor yeah, way in the pros back and forth should I or shouldn't I I actually feel like you're tempted to reach out to this person some of you work with them or it's them tempted to reach out to you so yeah you definitely you know like I say but if you are if for those of you who are seeing someone and they're keeping you waiting I definitely see other options coming in okay yeah but I I don't know I feel like some of you just want to wait it's like you know <laughs> you deserve better than someone who keeps you waiting yeah you know what you want you're not going to settle there you go it's an energy of you, you being confident okay uh, being confident. Some of you feel confident if you wait for this person, they'll come in. This could be the person. Now, I definitely see you seeing the bigger picture. We know you're really good at that. Okay, seeing the bigger picture, being wise, trusting your inner knowing, you know, the queen of swords, your wisdom, you know, speaking up. Yeah, for those of you who are dating someone and they're keeping you waiting, you may actually, you know, tell this person, hey, if you're going to keep me waiting, I'm just going to go out and meet someone else. <laughs> oh, the Queen of Swords can be quite blunt, absolutely. But, you know, I feel like you're doing it, you know, temper, you're tempering the words here. I, I don't feel like you're harsh or sharp. It's more like, thank you, but no, thank you. I'm tired of waiting. So... Yeah, let's have a look some more at this emperor energy. This is your, I, I, you might even just change your focus from one person to another. Because I definitely see options, but I see the energy of the possibilities. This is an energy of someone who's fantasizing. They look at all the possibilities, how things could play out. Okay. And it's an energy of someone who sees the possibilities too, but they're procrastinating. Should I or shouldn't I? I still feel like it's yourself reaching out to this person. Tell me about this emperor. Yeah, there it is. The cycle ending. It's an energy of someone who's used to getting things to go in their favor. They're used to getting their way. <laughs> yeah. So I see a cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. So this actually comes after. Yeah, so this is someone who wants things to go in their favor. I'm going to tell you, the, the good's definitely outweighing the bad here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cycle ending, a new cycle. Yeah, you got to, this person's weighing the pros and the cons. I still feel it's you. I don't know why. I feel like it's yourself tempted to reach out to kind of get this person moving. But while, like I say, for some of you, while you're waiting, you have this other person. That's an emperor. Now, they could be anyone. It could even be a boss for that matter, but they are definitely an emperor. I mean, this is a person who generally goes after what they want. But look at this Pisces energy, this perspective, taking a pause, nine of emotion. That's that nine of cups. Someone's being cautious, careful what they wish for. See? Yeah. It's an energy just kind of playing it safe. I think this person's going to play it safe too, but they're going to, they are weighing the pros and the cons about offering you this cup. I, I feel they're, you know, the kind of, yeah, there it is, two people drinking from that cup. It's like you both want this, 
But like I, this, whatever it is you're waiting for, like I say, I feel like, you know, you got other opportunities coming in, other options. Like, you know, the Queen of Wands is someone who doesn't settle. And, you know, that's why I feel like while you've been waiting for this other energy, you're focused on work, other things, creative pursuit. But now you've got, you're focused on someone else. Someone's going to be snooze you lose here. Yeah, see, taking back your power, staying in control of your emotions. See, some of you are going to put on the brakes. Oh, someone's going to catch your eye here. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, just, it's just like, whoa, wait a minute here. Who's this? Oh, yeah. you. I think you're going to connect with this person, but you're going to make a choice. You know, you've got... This is definitely an energy of someone who's emotionally mature, available. They're going to offer you this cup. You have this opportunity, okay? And you might even have multiple opportunities here because I see options, things, some kind of change, okay? Because I feel like it's an energy where you feel something is off. This is person's not putting in the effort and you're kind of waiting. So that's why I feel you're putting on the brakes. And this other person's going to take this opportunity uh, to come towards you so yeah who is this king of cups I, it's probably the same person it's probably the same person just in their feelings here weighing the pros and the cons about whether this will go in their favor or not you see this is someone who knows how to get things to go in their favor though <laughs> yeah it's definitely someone thinking about love you know they're you know, it's definitely connects to the emperor choosing their battles wisely See, it's a person who's thinking things through, back and forth. Back and forth. If you, ha if you have been seeing someone and it's been on and off and you're always waiting, definitely, again, putting on the brakes, taking back your power, speaking your truth and moving on here. This, this you know, and that's also yourself choosing your battles too, because I, with your waiting, choosing your battles, this is more than likely yourself thinking it through, weighing the pros and the cons. And if you have two people, you may be comparing them. Okay. And you're definitely uh, wanting the best possible outcome here. <laughs> yeah. It's your energy. That's you though. Queen of wands. And some of you have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, or you're just in that energy where you're pretty confident here. Okay. You're not afraid to go after what you want. There's absolutely no, you know, no doubt about that. You know, speaking out, it's the birth of something new. See, keeping your options open and no more waiting. You see, no more waiting around. The Empress doesn't wait. Yeah. And so there's a little bit of a break. So some of you taking a little break, a little time in between here. Okay. Clearing out negative energy. Yeah. I mean, you could be on a little bit of a break from someone you've been dating. So like I say, while you're waiting, you're healing, letting go of all this negative energy, and you've got a person. So I'm not going to drag this out any longer. It's just going to keep repeating itself. So this is someone who wants things to go in their favor. Okay, They definitely are someone who's used to things going in their favor. But I mean, it is possible this is someone who... Um, Definitely could be also ending a situation with something that's off. And it, if it's not you, it's them. But there we go. It, this is someone who sees you in a favorable light. I feel this will definitely be very positive. A whole new cycle. Just think it through. Don't rush into anything. Okay, think it through. Choose your battles. Now, if they are, if that is connected to the emperor, they are in that energy of choosing their battles, something that's worth fighting for, worth going after. They definitely don't want you to get away, but it could be the other person, something that's on and off who comes in and doesn't want you to get away. It's almost like an energy of someone who wants someone, but they don't want, but they don't act, they don't do anything, but they don't want anyone else to, you know, you to be with anyone else. I'm kind of getting that vibe from this person. But just think it through. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Yeah, see? Marriage commitment, someone's financial foundation. There's a reason to celebrate. You're going to get an invitation. They're thinking it through, choosing their battles. This is something worth going for, going after. Okay? So this want this person here doesn't want you to get away. But this is the person I feel that also has that energy. And the reason why I say that is because the Emperor has that um that logical that you know that energy of weighing the pros and the cons here but it, like i say if you've got something that's on and off and they can't make up their mind you may make it up for them but they may try to come in 
Um, because they, it's like they don't, you know, they don't want to put the effort or they want you to do all the work where this other person's willing to do the work. You see, it's a family oriented person. This is someone who wants commitment, marriage, you know, they, they want that kind of thing. It makes them happy. The other person I feel the only reason why they may come in to try to keep you from getting his way is, you know, maybe jealousy or something, but I just feel like they're used to getting what they want. You know, I don't think they're going to get what they want here. I got to be honest. I actually feel this is the one reading this week where I don't see the emperor and the empress connecting. Unless that emperor has that king of wands energy, you see? And it's possible for some of you, it, it's actually the emperor, you know? But like I say, it's an energy of things going, it has to do with timing. It, you know, it's like the timing is now, this person's in a hurry, they need to hurry up. So I don't know if you're you're just saying something to someone, tempting them, lighting a little fire under them, and they decide to hurry up because they don't want you, or they just realize that they have feelings and they don't want you to get away. That's the only energy that I can feel, and I feel that's just for a few people. It, it, it's not really strong, but there it is, marriage material. See, someone there's an energy of three people, friends and family getting together, socializing, dating this person. You, you may all be in the same social circle. That's why I kind of wonder if there's talk or gossip. <laughs> but the Queen of Pentacles, grounding yourself and being sensible, looking at this. Do you actually see a future with this person? Okay. Do you do they fit with your friends and family? Are you comfortable? Because I, I see an energy of something that feels like home with someone. It feels like home. Okay. So I feel it has to do with your path. Yeah. Tell me more about this emperor. See, I feel the emperor's being cautious. They're playing it safe. But with the queen of pentacles is here. That's an energy of someone who plays it safe. So I don't know. I feel maybe you're tempted to reach out because you're waiting. But it's like while you're waiting, you're clearing out some negative thoughts and energy. The thoughts that pin you down. And then all of a sudden, you've got these options coming in. And if it is a person that you've had an on and off with, I actually feel like you could break free. Yeah, you've got a person who's looks like an Aries energy. You know, I don't think this you're going to give this person what they want. You're not indulging them. I feel like you're getting what you want from another person. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, I mean, like I say, been there, done that. Multiple opportunities, things speeding up. I feel like you're going to be out of here. But it almost looks like that emperor is going to come after you because they don't want you to get away. So there are a few of you definitely where they're just going to, you know, keep talking, keep communicating, keep coming in. But definitely some of you are looking at whether you actually see a future with this person because it has to do with feeling like home. Okay, that's, that's the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is connected to the Empress, or you have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart. See? It's feeling like home, feeling comfortable. You got it. It looks like a choice, weighing the pros and the cons between two. But which one goes in your favor? You want to make the right choice. But I still feel this King of this, or this emperor is somebody who's weighing the pros and the cons too. Should I or shouldn't I? You know, snooze you lose if you procrastinate. Like that's what I feel a lot of this is, just procrastination. And you may be doing that too, having a hard time making a decision. Because I feel like you're waiting for this, this emperor, this person who's used to things go in their favor. Now I'm not seeing them as a bad person at all. I just feel like there's either something on and off or you're waiting for them to end something. Okay. Yeah, crazy energy there, Gemini. But I do see opportunities coming in. Yeah, I see an energy of single. Um, a single person coming towards you. A little Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Yeah, it's telling you to just look out for yourself. Do what's right for you. Okay. If you want to wait, you can wait. <laughs> okay. Because I feel it's the emperor that you're waiting for. But I feel like you're getting bored. You're kind of, like I say, starting to fantasize other options looking at other options here but you can I, I definitely feel like you can see the possibilities and I do feel the emperor does they see those possibilities uh, where this could go you see so 
Yeah. Well, so the energy of someone who sometimes comes on a little too fast, too strong. Maybe it may, it's it, it's what's going to happen and you feel uncomfortable because that Queen of Pentacles in home is feeling comfortable. Okay. But it has to do with some kind of invitation to someone's home. Maybe you're thinking of inviting this person over. Okay. It could be vice versa. You can flip it. But there it is. See the temptation. There it is. Pulling back. Something might feel a little bit off. Okay. I feel like there's a person who's going to make you feel un uncomfortable. I feel they're going to come on too fast, too strong. You know your worth and value with the Empress. I just, yeah. So one more card and we'll wrap this up, Gemini. Yeah, you're going to walk away from someone. You're searching for someone else, eh? keeping your options open. Yeah. See, so somebody may have a lot of baggage or they're just not behaving in a responsible manner. It's a, I feel like you've got a person who's not pulling their weight. But that's also an end of a cycle, the 10. That's where the sun starts shining. That's where I feel like you're going to let go of this. I don't think you can rely on this person. I don't think they're reliable, okay? So, but you know, you decide for yourself. You've got an emperor and a king of cups. Now, king of cups, I, they feel like they're lovely. They want to date you. I can see that. You know, they want to date. They want to connect. But maybe you're not so sure if they're your type. You know, because they are different. I feel they're different than your usual type. So that could be the situation. It's maybe time to just... Maybe you're just going to sleep on it and, you know, um, think about this and make a decision in the morning when your head's clear. Yeah, see, there's, you're indecisive. You're having a hard time not making, you're not making a decision just yet. No, that's all right. You do whatever works for you. See, having faith in the, your own process and how you make your own decisions here. So I feel it has to do with, you know, how this person conducts themselves too. I feel like you have a hard time seeing past it. You see? But you can have faith that you will make the right choice for yourself. I really wish you the best here. But that King of Cups is there. And they're definitely different. Someone different than the usual type. But I feel it's an energy where something is off because this person's not putting in the effort. I do feel, I mean, it's, it's an emperor. They could work a lot too where you just have to be patient. Okay. So those are you, yeah. So I just feel like it's, you know, you've got to decide whether you want to wait for this person or take this other offer, okay? Take the other offer from the King of Cups. That's what I feel. Where you're going to, like I say, being single here, been there, done that, you know? <laughs> Saying have a few dates, you never know. I mean, unless somebody commits, this person is committed to you, okay? Unless there's, you've made some kind of an agreement, that you would wait, especially if they are someone who's working a lot or away at work. That's a different situation. But if there is no agreement, there is no commitment, go for it. Yeah, there it is. See, protecting yourself, keeping your, someone keeping you stuck and keeping you single. You could be doing it to yourself waiting. <laughs> okay, don't be afraid to explore other options, okay? Because you just don't know. I, I feel this lovely person's coming in. And I actually feel like you'll be on the same page. They are a little different. Okay, different than your usual type. But I actually feel they'll be faithful and loyal to you. That's what I feel. Where the other person, I don't know. Okay, so we'll clear this up. Yeah. You don't want to waste your precious time, Gemini. Okay, those of you who have nobody around, okay, no love prospects at this time, single Gemini with no love prospects. What is it that you need to know? New love prospects or connections for single Geminis. What is it you need to know? Yeah, there you are, queen of voices. <laughs> what do you need to know? Yeah, seven of voices. Yeah, you got some things to figure out here. You're figuring some things out. Yeah, you may have had a person who was a little bit sneaky here, okay? Someone being a little sneaky. But I feel like you're wise to it. You figured it out. Yeah, got nobody really around you. Yeah, it's also an energy of being, you know, doing a lot of thinking. Seven of voices, the voices in your head, figuring out what it is you want that makes you happy too, you know. So there's the Hierophant. It has to do with having faith. 
faith in yourself to be confident enough to make the right decision. Yeah, some of you may have had a person who wasn't faithful, so there could be some issues there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you've got another choice. You have another, you've got some love coming in. Yeah, so you're going to meet someone through friends and family, people who are your soul family, okay? people that you connect with. Definitely there's been a situation here. You, Queen of Swords is often someone, you know, that, that, that's been hurt here with this energy. But I feel like you're figuring it out, okay? Yeah. Yeah, there was someone here I feel like you just weren't on the same page. They weren't faithful. But I, I, I do feel like you've got this friends and family, people you can count on here. And I do see love, Gemini. I see you having some choices in love in your social circle. Let's have a look. Queen of Voices. Yeah. Some Libra energy. Someone with Libra in their chart. Okay. Yeah. What do we got here? I have a whole jumble of cards. I got to reshuffle too many. Tell me about this. Oops, there it is. There, you got a King of Cups. Someone here is trying to figure out how they feel. This person has some Libra in their chart, or this is somebody giving you advice. <laughs> so I say, I, I, I think I seen that in the last reading, but it, it's just an energy of you doing what's right for you. It has to do with having faith and somebody coming in right, someone who's right for you. You're going to make the right choice, okay? You'll choose, you'll choose, you'll choose well. Yeah. Who is this King of Cups? This is someone figuring out their feelings here. Yeah. They're trying to figure out if you're compatible. I see cooperation, compromise, the things you have in common, energy of three. So it's an energy of you have a friend in common with this person. Okay. Yeah. You're in the same social circle, I feel. Let's have a look at Hierophant. Now, this could be a place where you go. It's a habit, a routine, your social structure. Okay. It's how someone's conducting themselves in that social circle. Let's, there could be some kind of talk or gossip. Yeah, you've got another person here. Some of you got a couple options going to come in. There's an energy of three. It looks like you got a couple people. Yeah. Justice is in your favor here, okay? Definitely um, somebody with possible Libra in their chart, but Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do see a Taurus energy. Okay. It could be anybody. Yeah. It's a person who's financially stable. They're in your social circle. Or in your community. Maybe online dating, social media. But there it is. This is the person who's determined to have success. Yeah, I feel they're connected to this person. It looks like one person. They're determined. I mean, this person's determined to have success here. Beautiful. I, I feel like it's just a person trying to figure out something here. Maybe you're a little hard to figure out. Often I see that where someone's trying to figure someone out here and they're having a hard time. So we'll see. But let's have a look at the chariot. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. So there could be a little competition, conflict, a little bit of drama. This person is definitely somebody who will overcome challenges. But I'll tell you one thing. If there is any drama or conflict, this person will put on the brakes. And it could be you that's actually doing that. But I feel it's this person putting on the brakes, avoiding drama, okay, avoiding conflict. Tell me about the three of emotion. There we go. Yeah. So cycle ending, new cycle beginning. It has to do with the timing. So it has to do with the timing. Yeah, there could be other people. I this person could be just looking to see if there's competition. Okay. But they are I feel they're very determined. They're definitely in control of their emotions. They're not ruled by them. See, so they're mature. This person's mature, but they're trying to figure something out. Um, whether there's competition. Okay, whether they should take action, but I do feel they this is someone who tries to avoid confrontation. So if there is competition, they will definitely put on the brakes. Let's have a look at this wheel of fortune. Timing, things going in this favor. The time is now. They feel like they need to take action. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so you got a person who wants to date you. 
Things are about to go in your favor here. Like whatever's happened here is over an old cycle, okay? I definitely see um, some of you have definitely had a tough time here. But it has to do with marriage and commitment. It has to do with having having faith here, okay? So it's an energy of someone coming in right. You had somebody here who didn't treat you right, I feel, in the past. Yeah, but it's an energy. See what you've been waiting for. See? Your ships are about to come in. Your ships are about to come in. You've got a person wanting to date. They want things to go in their favor. I do see the timing being right. Okay, you're going to be, it's an energy of being at the right time in the right place. Out with friends or family, online dating or social media. More than likely in the real world with that being at the right time in the right place. Okay, lovely. Yeah, see, you've been waiting here. See, there you are. You know what you want. You're not settling here. Um, and it's possible you've been, you're waiting for somebody else. Some of you that have no love prospects actually could be waiting for someone, kind of. <laughs> See, but looking elsewhere. I just feel like your ship's coming in. All this waiting is, is over here. I think somebody is going to come in that's just right for you. I do. I, I feel. See, waiting patiently. Patience paying off for someone who's right for you to come in. And coming in the right way. Come to me right or don't come to me at all. <laughs> Yeah. If you have several people, because I do see the possibility with the lovers of having a choice between two, you're going to think things through. You're not going to rush into anything because you might change your mind. Okay. You're not going to rush in. You know what you want here. So think it through. Okay. Yeah. There's somebody here who possibly doesn't want you to get away. I do see someone coming in to take action. I actually feel like it's this person. Okay. So you've got people coming, coming around you. I see someone taking a leap of faith, taking a, ri a risk, pushing through that fear. Yeah, yeah, living in the moment. Someone here is definitely living in the moment. Interesting. Oh, emperor energy. This is an emperor. Oh, yeah, this is someone who's made up their mind. They're just going for it here. They're coming in. Oh, these are fighting words. This person is not afraid of the competition. It's not that they're afraid of it. They try to avoid confrontation. Drama, gossip, things like that. Okay, but here they come. Look at that. Candle just went out. Cycle over. New cycle beginning. Yeah, I see it. definitely something making you happy here. So whatever you've been, you know, patiently waiting for, for someone to come in right, you're, you, this is where looking elsewhere, it's telling you to look elsewhere, the right time in the right place. Now with the Hierophant, it's about going to different places. Okay, if you have a habit or a routine or you're really structured and you always have a tendency to go to the same places, okay, or... Like I say, maybe there's a little sneaky energy where someone's going to try to be at the right place at the right time. So there's someone being a little sneaky. They're trying to figure something out here. Okay. Oh, that's what's going on. I see. Gemini. Yeah. Oh, see, someone's single, going alone. You know, it's funny when I see that, when I see this energy of a person going somewhere else. Okay. Going alone. It's sort of like hunting alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, that's a person. I I definitely feel this person is is uh, definitely thinking of taking action and going for it here. Uh, some emperor energy. One more. Uh, definitely, they're single. I do see someone single. It's possible that somebody who's uh, gone through a breakup and they're now single. It could be an energy of someone you know finding out a person's single too. So. But yeah, there it is. Somebody at a crossroads in their life. There it is. Manifesting, Gemini. You're manifesting this. It looks like a couple of options. You have a choice here. Okay, choose wisely. But there's that magician. You've manifested. Why? Because you have all the tools. Now, this person here, they've, manif they've mastered life. They've learned all the lessons of all the kings. You see? So you do have an emperor coming in. I definitely feel like they have earth, they are, they have earth in their chart. Okay, they could be an Aries though. I mean, I feel it'll probably be different for each of you, but I definitely can see some Taurus energy. Now that could even be some of your own energy, but I I feel this is somebody here who's you know someone's putting on the brakes here. 
looking at the, the competition, trying to avoid conflict, but they're going to push through that fear and go for it anyway. I love that energy. That's what you want. See, somebody who comes in willing to fight for what they want. They don't want drama, though. I can tell you, if there's a whole lot of drama and stuff, they will kind of put on the brakes. Uh, trying to avoid gossip and things, I feel. But there it is. Hierophant, the way someone conducts themselves. It has to do with having faith. It has to do with lifestyle habits, the way somebody conducts, conducts themselves publicly. So it has to do with morals and values, the way someone behaves publicly. So actually, I feel this is someone who will be on the same page. If you have Taurus in your chart, I, or your Gemini Taurus cusp, yeah, there's definitely, it's an energy of morals and values. So very nice. And you, some of you, if you have a person here, uh, it, it's, it's actually kind of not the exact opposite, but I can sense an energy of somebody who doesn't follow society's rules. Somebody here who doesn't care. Okay. So, but, and it's somebody that does. In fact, the strongest energy is this emperor who has values and morals, the way they behave publicly. Okay. So it could be someone who's, you know, around you in your social circle, watching how you behave. So <laughs> there's a connection. You're going to be on the same page. There's your opportunity. So some of you will get an invitation. Now, it's hard to say where this is goes. I feel like you'll just kind of wait and see how this goes. But you definitely aren't going to settle. Okay, you're going to think things through. You're not going to rush. I feel your energy is to want to kind of hurry up with this, but you know, I, I feel you're going to think it through. Okay, but this is a lot of times this is this person. And see, going after what they want, taking action. And that's why I feel for most of you, it's just their energy. But yeah, I feel you're just going to wait to see how things go here. There's someone here you're definitely no longer focused on. Uh, too. So you could have a person who, you know, doesn't want you to get away. Okay. So like I say, the drama, obstacles and a few challenges here. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at this Knight of Swords. There it is. Yeah, been there, done that, fast moving. Yeah, this is somebody who's going to take action. They're coming in quick. This person's not going to waste any more time. But some of you, I see, have been there, done that with somebody else. There, there's definitely some choices here. But I still feel like, I, I still get this vibe, some of you. Um, because you can see someone being a little sneaky. They're trying to figure something out. Somebody a little, somebody maybe being a little arrogant here, but it's often a person who takes a little time to figure out how they feel, too. So, yeah, I just, I, I, most of you, I feel like you've got a couple of opportunities. I don't think you're going to be single forever. It doesn't matter how single you are now. I mean, it, of course, everybody isn't going to have this exact reading, but it's about going somewhere different. Someone's trying to figure out where you go, where you hang out. They want to be at the right place in the right time. And it very well could be you, <laughs> okay, trying to do that. So, But there's the opportunity, okay? Some kind of invitation to a party, a celebration, a get-together, maybe introduced to some friends, things like that, okay? A little different for each of you. So I wish you the very best. Uh, do take care and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.